and it's game on. Welcome to Doom. You might want to go live on Twitch. I did. There we go. <laughs> it is definitely right. live. There it is. Welcome to Doom Eternal. Yes. Doom that Eternal is live. Yeah, adjust whatever settings you feel necessary. Hooray. The Hooray. options menu is accessed through plus. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus settings. Glory kill highlight, obviously. Tutorials. For the uh, sake of argument, we will do that. Yeah, leave them on because they're new mechanics uh, that the game usually does a pretty good job of explaining to you through them. That's good. looks pretty standard. Yeah. And if you want, you can customize the color of your uh, interface. Or leave it default. Right. Slayer controller. Yeah, I never, uh... I never actually change the controls besides inverting look because that is how I play. Yeah. Yes, I own this game both on Switch and PC. What of it? <laughs> You're not being so there's judged. Also, uh, there's also Slayer Pain Grunts. I where saw you, that. Yeah, if you want him to grunt in pain when you take damage. Or if you want him silent, like in the previous game. I think we'll leave him for now. Is that ready? Where's the bit Where's to change this color? The interface? Or you mean the interface color? Or, well, uh, yeah. A UI color profile. Oh. Demons. Amber. Final. Let's see. Exterminator. Exterminator sounds good. <laughs> Hope you like red, because that's all you're going to see. Oh, well, actually, yeah. I kind of like red. All right. All right. All right. If you do anything, go to events. Get a reward. Oh, look at all that. Yep, you got the Ember Slayer. Uh, the Art Complex. Uh, master level, the Cultist Marauder, and I think the Retro Revenant. Yes. Alright, uh, go to Boosters. Alright, add, add me. Oh, I'm the only person in the place. Add Booster. There, now you'll receive a portion of the experience that I gain uh, whenever I uh, play the game. Excellent. Also, uh, you can get a look at the skin I use. Oh, yeah, I think I saw screen. that there for a second. Yeah, it was really purple. Oops, not that. <laughs> yeah, I did see purple, though, for what it's Oh, like. no. People can see that I play video games. <laughs> All right, uh, go... All right, you can you can start the game now. Yeah, all right, let's do this. All right, first things first. You are not beating this on Hurt Me Plenty. <laughs> hey, this you said that about huge. 2016, and I did. Yeah, this is yeah, but this is a huge step up from Doom 2016 in difficulty. <sighs> no joke. Fine. 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 They had to turn the difficulty down when I first played. It was that rough. <laughs> Incidentally, where can I get this stuff that, they, that it gave me? Uh, in the customize menu. Ah. So some of this is, um... Uh... uh customizing demons only shows up in multiplayer. Uh, customizing the Slayer will show up in cutscenes. And okay. the hand 
uh, in the first person view. All right. So will I find that under UI? Uh, no, you would have to go back. Oh. Yeah, back to the main menu. Well, darn. Oh, customize. That makes yeah, sense. That makes... Yeah, and there's a little explanation point to denote that if there's anything new. Uh. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, I'll go Ember because why not? You can also customize uh, your guns. I don't. Th you, I don't think you have any skins for them right now. But uh, we'll earn them later on. Right. Play with some of that other stuff later. All right. Yeah. Fine. I'm too young to die. Let us begin. Oh, incidentally, is that a good spot for Beavis and Butthead to be? Uh, it covers up how many lives you have. Uh... Whoops. Uh, you could probably get away with... I don't know where you could put it, because there's a lot of shit all over the interface. Uh, well, I guess the number of lives isn't the most important thing in the world. I can't seem to move it since... Uh... Since, uh, it, it is run out. Well, I mean, as long as I can see it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, true. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Ah, so what they're doing is they're going to send me a drum tower. Cool. Uh, right. Uh, with Doom 2016, I said you would have a rougher time on Hurt Me Plenty. I didn't say you wouldn't beat it. Ah. Uh, this like kind of... I feel like the fifth level, I, I kind of start doing This is a very good carries over, but there's also a lot new, and some of the things you might have learned in that game will probably not work here. Such as relying on one Who's weapon for everything. Yeah, I remember that. Lame. Pray that he's watching. I'm sorry, but you can't be lazy. If you could hear me. In terms of volume, everybody can hear everything, hopefully. If anybody is experiencing, uh, Volume issues, be it us or the game, please say so. Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. 60%, huh? Not enough. We have the Hell Priest signal locked in. I would like to point out I have my wine with me and I have it from the This particular wine is pink. Not mad! For his armies! They fear the mark of the beast! We are big on it. Pretty colored one. Oh, this will be the last time we have that in our life. Because this is the last person. <laughs> Six hundred and sixty six demons. Well, glory kills are back, and they spawn more health than they did in the first game. Oh, that's good. 
go. Hey, buddy. There is a secret in this. Hey, Bat Smiggy, thank you for this, the two months. There's a secret here, and it's not just the chance. No, but it's a chainsaw. Right, uh, right uh, one thing you'll notice is... Uh, well, first of all, let's go. I see this. I'll grab the chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, you notice you're only limited to three fuel, and you're stuck like that for the rest of the game. However, chainsaw enemies only takes one fuel, unless they are heavy enemies, in which they take three. And uh, super heavies are out there. Oh. However, however, if you run out of chainsaw fuel, it will slowly regenerate to one. Oh, that's good. And you will always have a source of ammo. Right, the melee button is your... Yeah. Punch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. You also, also start with the double jump. Oh, that's good. Right. But uh, one thing to note here is uh, punchable walls. They usually have an X on them. Uh, secret punchable walls are uh, not... Uh, shown to you, but if you're observant enough, you can notice it. Like that. <laughs> ones that are that move you toward progress are labeled with green. Well, yeah, I think that much. And ones that are labeled yellow require the something in the environment. For the zombie, huh? Yes, there are now toys of nearly all the enemies in the game. Some of them uh, are actually real life. Huh. I have a cacodemon one. Ah, that's probably the cacodemon one I can actually get. Uh, yes, it's 30 bucks. Yeah. Uh, the game is a bit loud. The game is a bit loud. Okay. That's the mirror box. Let's turn the mirror box down. That's about a decimal and a half. Well, I also probably should have told you about extra life mode. Uh, it's like the normal mode, except you start with three lives, uh -huh. and uh, you cannot revisit levels that you've beaten previously. And if you lose all your lives and then die, uh, then your save is deleted. Oh, well, that's quite cheese. It's not as hard as you think, but it's probably best not to uh, not to start off with that. Indeed. All right, weapon mods. This is self-explanatory. Uh, full auto has amazing DPS, but it runs through your ammo like crazy. I figured that. Sticky bombs are incredibly versatile. Oh, yeah, sticky bombs are, are very yeah. useful. And uh, unlike the explosive shot, you can fire three of them before needing to reload. I definitely and like the sound of that. And they will slowly reload on their own. Oh, good. Okay. Fun stuff. I guess I can go forward now. I assume that we have seen all of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yes, sticky bomb. Uh, I, one of my most used things in this game. I can totally like, if there's that. fodder around, this is like the best thing. Yeah, I definitely see that. Somebody's they can also control weak points, but we'll cross that out. The left. What are the blue things there? Health. No. Yeah, they're mo they're modeled after the classic uh, health models. Four kill. Oh, too bad. <laughs> yeah, expect to see that blade a lot in these games. Oh, 
Uh, Since you're playing on the lowest difficulty, shells are worth the play. So if you want to economize, oh, there you go. Here's a fuel is worth uh, one tip. And uh, a lot of things are color coded in this game, so you can recognize anything that's uh, lost. Which is good because it's getting some stupidly fast pace. Hi, man. I've seen that yeah. design somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's fucking dead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you come across one of the first big bats in the game, the first thing you do is just have all this net. Well, I mean, you know, Doom Guy's not the first person I've seen do that. Kratos, yeah, he has had one still using it at the time, so that's. Kind of the first five minutes of the game? Okay, well, the more like about half an hour, really, but not <laughs> <laughs> The sonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by Helios was not technically a bad guy, only there are two uh, exception of remaining. Kratos, which, you know, that is. Oh, also, Vega's with you again. I noticed. Uh, uh, just as clear as you look. Uh, now you can see like, the environments and how this has changed from the first game. Uh, uh, yeah, this happened to Earth while you were gone. Uh, that was busy. You had to take care of shit on Mars. You can't be everywhere at once. Yep, I'm only one doom guy. Uh, you can get full auto if you want. May as well. Yeah. Like before, you can switch between your weapon mods by pressing the up on It is even. Well, I'm gonna stick with the bounce right now. Yeah. I don't use that <coughs> much, except for early on, because like once you get the super shotgun, full auto isn't quite as useful because the uh, meat Hulk is a lot more versatile, and there's also the burst damage from the super shotgun. All right, so no secrets out here, I'm guessing. Uh, no, but after you punch through the wall, uh, climb up. Nope, not like that. Climb. Heck 
guy not having a very good day. Uh, no. I, I can't imagine why looking at where he, where he is, let alone what state he's in. Yeah. I love how the Gym Slayer has a soft spot for the place. Yes. Oh, hi guys. Wait you uh, for to the uh of two years. Which is your base of operations between missions. Oh. Oops, I missed. <laughs> Okay, so probably not his Of course, the red things are explosive barrels again. And later on, they will serve a purpose beyond just blowing up enemies. You can gain an upgrade where they will drop ammo upon destruction. Oh, fuck yes. And another upgrade where they regenerate after you blow them up. Oh, there's also one that gives you a new Oh, well, I guess. If you didn't have the point, you made that So, yeah, remember when I said last game that you couldn't afford to stay in the cell? Yeah. It's even more, uh imperative here, because enemies do more damage, and they're a lot more aggressive. Fun? It's a good thing I got better about that, uh, is that yeah. more on. Yes. And this game does give you new tools to deal with that. That's good. As it should. Oh, so, what fresh hell is this? You will automatically swing off of it. And you can do a double, you can do a double jump after the swing. Also, this is a good point that you're riding. You can destroy the plasma turret, reducing it to just its melee attack and plasma grenades. Oh, hello. Usually, I try to save my chainsaw fuel so I can just kill it immediately because they are very, very dangerous. You don't have no fuel. Aw. It's a heavy, you need fuel. And I believe there is only one chainsaw fuel on this area. So you're gonna have to fight the old path in there. Well. Wanna kill it? Oh! That looked unpleasant. Still booting yourself. I think my favorite is when you do it from behind. He will lift it up and flip it over like an act and make it helpless like an actual spider. Except it explodes when it lands. Yeah. Zombies is when you like sort of push their head into their neck like a weenie bone cartoon. Alright. Yeah, this game tests your spatial awareness a lot more than this one did. So it is. I believe there's another uh, gas can. Hoping to find. Yes. Oh, yep, there it is. Yes, and there should be another one in the area coming up 
which means you can cheese the next Arachnotron if you save your chainsaw fuel. The but wheels now, and weapons go round and round. That weapon wheel is the same as it was in the previous game. But here's the heavy cannon. This is your machine gun. Oh, oh. Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho, motherfucker. You were in the right area for progress and you went backwards. Oh, really? It didn't look like, um. It's a ledge you could jump on. map is indeed still a thing, and it's a little more comprehensive this time. Hmm. Certainly looks that way. Yes. And there's my green door, so unless there's something else I can pull back here. Fuck out. Oh. That is all the here. Unlike the previous game, however, monster and fighting does not do damage to each other. No, so you can sit here and watch forever and they will never stop fighting. That is a shame. Hey, there's a gas can. that bad boy. Awesome. 
are we looking for? Oh, uh, go outside. A, well, yeah, you're heading in the right direction. You uh, want to go... Uh, no, there's a much larger deck than this. That one. Spawn you in place. Well, with that full is health. Awful. Yes, instead of sending you back to a checkpoint. If you die with no lives left, then you will respawn at the checkpoint. Okay. Makes sense. Alright, continue onward. Extra lives in this level. Ooh. Uh, huh. Let's see. Okay. Yep. Help me well, hard. Hard. Uh, fuck. And, yep. and you just discovered a new. Uh, uh, if you fall into a pit, it just respawns you, and just you just make it. 
from where I was sitting, my, uh, I couldn't tell if that was L or R. Oh. No, it's off. Yeah. I see that. Makes sense. Hey, you missed, pal. Ah, oh, I wish I had grenades. grenades. They're just sticky. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm trying to reach the left uh, trigger. No, you don't have those yet. You'll get them very soon. Not soon enough. Uh, uh, yeah, the shotgun is definitely annoying from the fact that it doesn't carry. We got a very both for that, so we may as well do one for this. Let's see here. Well, what do you think? I usually go for the precision bolt. I use that a lot. Micro missiles are good, but I, I, I just depend so much on the precision bolt to take out my It's yes. so good. Hellfire is definitely good. It's so bright, I got it. Now you just gotta learn to quick scope because the game aims for you when you do it. Ooh. Now I have grenades. Thank God. And this time it is now a launcher on your shoulder, so you will no longer interrupt whatever uh, weapon attacks you're doing. Fun. Hey, it's a cacker demon. Yes, and here's its weak point. Explosives. No problem. If you get a sticky bomb or a frag grenade, it will be instantly staggered. Opening it up for a glory kill. And... And jump over. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, this was a bomb. Never quick. Oh! Psych! You better hurry up and glory kill that thing. Too late. Too late. Just switch the shotgun and sticky bomb it. Yeah. Uh, 
Tired of that. Goofy expression helps. Indeed. So don't neglect your grenades. You were whining about wanting them. You yeah, know. I kept tapping them. Thank you for your support during this transition. Uh, your suffering continues to inspire oh us. Demo. 
which I don't need. Oh, I guess I'm ready. Yeah, you need shells. I thought I'd gone, so... That is a climb wall across from you. Hi, tentacles. Fuck you. Uh, I'm sure <laughs> that didn't do anything, but it was cathartic. No, they have to be out. They fucking got them last. We'll kill them in one hit. Found a key code. <laughs> really? Well, let's see here. Special modifiers of mission select. Say progression can't pick up items that conflict with your current cheat. Hmm. So this is something you were talking about in the previous game, right? Yes. Excellent. Infinite live stream. I like everything about that. The only thing you cannot, as it says there, the only thing you cannot do with two goats and able to honor is slam this. So if we were to be so inclined, we could leave that on. We could leave that on as long as you... As long as you're not replaying the level that has the Slayer game, the Slayer game will still be Oh, that was 
can't cheese Slayer Games. You can cheese everything else, but not Slayer Games. Because you ask. Because there's a big reward tied to it. Yeah. I think you are. George! Chef George at the Doesn't work. Okay. Oh. Good thing that doesn't kill you. area is an extra light. Okay. It is inside an elevator on the upper floor. Onwards and outwards. 
This is the last major fight in the, in the level. <laughs> you all said in the game. <laughs> it's like, boy, that'd be a neat trick, wouldn't it? Well, no, no, no. Yep, sticky bomb, blow up! Sticky bomb, that didn't seem to help. The bomb disappeared, it didn't even blow up! I glitched! I've never seen that happen before. Great. Why still there's like six times on the switch? Today I'm doing my best This is uh, a lot easier than the last one. There's only one of them. Everything else is just fine. Pretty. I can but see there is a one. Oh, is there? It requires a bit of daredevil work, though. A little daring do. Shenanigan. Uh, you need to look over the cliff to the right. Over those over the cliff. I said over the cliff. Yeah, you'll see it there. There is uh, a safer way to do that. Okay. That is. Uh, there is a ledge to the right. Ah, oh, and there's a bar. Yes. Got it. Alright, and you can go straight to the final part of the fight and jump up the ledge. I will mark her location on your HUD. Yeah, I would say the first three levels are by far the hardest part of the game. Yeah. That's surprising. Okay. Except so there's some shells back there. I notice I'm not full, so. Well, the game, like, wastes no time at throwing, like, big enemies at you. You have limited resources early on. Yeah, I see this. Giant pain in the ass. This is the end of the level. Here, jump across. Jump across. Yes. Oh, and over there. in a corner, there's the shotgun. Uh, head into the portal. To the portal. of hell priests is located just above your location. Oh, hell priests, My scans say. indicate that there is a lift at the problem. center of this facility. There are two uh, papers in this facility, so uh, keep an eye out for them. Okay. Do not hit the button in the middle of the chamber, because that will end the level. Ah.
fast travel. Okay. Yep. That allows you to grab just about anything you might have missed. That's good. Right, there's one piece of paper. I'm gonna find the other, just don't hit that button there. Circle it all somewhere. Nice door. No, I can't circle. Oh, that's a shame. No, you actually have to fall down there. Oh, there it is. That's where it is. Alright, time to push the button, right. Frank. Uh, not yet. Check oh. the map and see if there's anything you missed. Well, okay, the that. answer the answer is no. <laughs> you may continue. Hooray. Familiar animation. The con maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. Indestructible. Arrows fall, stamp, then death. Really? Really? <laughs> uh, hey, Mike. Welcome as well. Arrows fall, stamp, then death. And thank you for the host, Saishin. Wow, look at the everything, all the alerts. Enjoy your stay. Fortress of I do not have the means to locate <laughs> Toad the is dead. Get another from your the celestial patch. locator. Good thing that's a very component. expansive mushroom patch too. We will need a replacement. Design of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. Well, as well you should have, Megan. Oh well, thank you for the host as well. <laughs> <laughs> Master levels, mission select, fun. Yeah, uh, you can't really explore this place quite yet. So I may as well just go straight to the portal, and, or to the weapon. Uh, this is an upgrade for your equipment launcher. Hola. It's time for Doom! I also, also did my first raid on Constantine's thing. Yeah. This is how you get armor. 
You set things on fire and then kill them. Cool. The, the flamethrower uh, doesn't a big have tutorial. Yeah, the flamethrower doesn't have much damage. I can see that. It also doesn't do much damage. Yeah. Oh, on the bright side, you can get armor. Yes, max out. Oh, uh, yes. A sentinel crystal. Oh, thank you for the host bats. And that's all I can do, eh? Yeah, you can't fully explore this place quite yet. Yeah, so we've done the one thing we can do, so we can go to this thing now. Oh, Sentinel Crystals. Yes. Hmm. Let's select an upgrade. Well, let's see, what's good? Well, what I do is try to get Loot Magnet first, because that's very important. Hmm. And one of these increases the armor, the other increases the ammo. Gee, I wonder which one you're going to take. Uh, the ammo, considering <laughs> how much I've been running <laughs> out of shit. Bingo. Yay. It's on my ship, and I punched it anyway. Hey, it's the your ship, you can do whatever you want. When you are. I mean, that's certainly true. Hooray. Want to grab Vega and throw him off? You can. Portal is activated and ready when you are. Well, that was a good time. Just pound that button. All you did was shove it down. I threw it on the ground. All you had to do was follow the damn button, CJ. All you had to do was go through the damn portal, CJ. Get in the portal! Get in the portal! Did you do Sean Connery? Uh a little. <laughs> You're the day I crossed Metro back. Welcome to a radically different environment. Well, I don't expect it to be radically different in the regard of I'm sure there's things that are going to be uh, crumpled up and tossed to the side. You know, things on their sides, and holes and things. And, well, who the hell is uh, that? Uh, no, it's uh, very different. Oh, there's giant pits everywhere. All right, all right. Uh, just fall down here. Do not go forward, but fall straight down, and then look behind you. Dink a dink a dink. Yes, those things that uh, Pan Anning and crew lost a bunch of in the last hour or so. Not like we're wanting to talk. Well, I hate this immediately. You're fine. Meanwhile, I did lose. I don't. When I play Toad, I don't lose lives. I just lose the Toads. Indeed. Shakalaka. Yep. By the time we finish the the special worlds, the Toad race will be either extinct or just. So endangered they have to put them in a zoo. <laughs> well, either one of those results is fine. Left. There will be one left. He will be the last of his kind. He'll spend the rest of his days in the one up mushrooms. He'll be disappointed. And wondering you know why it recover. doesn't create more of him. Yeah, he is going to be really disappointed. Uh, behind, behind you is uh, paper. Oh, yes. I see. 
it's helpful when it's on fire. Uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, everything improves when it's on fire. I don't think anybody would disagree with that. Gargoyles. They are agile and uh, dangerously accurate. And they're annoying as shit. Well, we're no. fighting these little bastards. Oh dear. Okay. In earlier versions of the game, all this happened and was glitched and would spawn partially inside a wall and would die immediately. <laughs> I remember hearing that, just I remember back when they did the first edition of 40k that they had a weapon that if you roll high enough, it'll do that to your enemy because it'll just let you do a, a wall or something and explode. <laughs> know what to do with those imps. Now it's time for the first appearance of an old friend. Uh, oh! The Hell Knight is back! He is, uh, a lot faster than before. Uh, yeah, I, I noticed. He's still attacking even though most of this is just gone. Well, I mean... Uh, actually, if you go back there, there is a uh, secret wall you can punch. I see. At that point, the I would say was go back. There you got... Back with me, Doomguy. Back to the future. The future! You're the new fight! And now Kazi has himself some... Arr. See how long it lasts. Um, yeah, not long. This is a punch. What punch? Tutorial time. Pretty much this the short of it. Kill, kill two enemies in melee, and you can just what punch. This is your see get off me weapon. However, it is in somewhat limited supply. It is rebuilt by performing glory kills. <laughs> now a blood punch. And uh, you uh, get some health from it usually. I would, just because I played play this before, I do recommend using it mainly again. And, because it will stick up. Yeah, so we'll jump off that. How do I get that one up? Uh, a little bit later. Oh. All right, you got... It's like it's just sitting there going, you will never have this, you will never have this, la 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 la. Oh yeah, I love this part. They get in, If they get into that lightning thing, they'll die. Oh. They're not always that stupid, though. So he says. Well, well, they're possessed guys, so they, they know a little better. A little. Well, if you want that one up, there's a monkey bar behind you. Ah. The first, uh, yeah, the, the monkey bar is how you get on that ledge up there. Ah. Runes. Yeah. Get your rune, and then afterwards, do your attempt that uh, burns a monkey. Uh. All right, uh, there's nine runes. Uh, there are enough to get them all. Uh, I will make one recommendation, and then you can use whatever you, whatever else you want. Listening. I recommend air control. Where mm. mobility is at a premium, this is indispensable. All right, sold. The other two, you can use whatever you want. I always like this animation. It's like, ah, I'm being shot! <laughs> Equip it! Yeah. Hooray! Yeah, it's like, and it's like the slot you want to put it to. 
Alright. And unlike the previous game, you unlock extra rune slots immediately. That's wonderful. There's that there one up. You don't have to upgrade. Either. That's even better. I almost expected that one up to be a secret. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of secrets, uh, on your way down, you will notice a single guy on a ledge. Get to that ledge and go inside the doorway. Okay. Single guy on a ledge. Let's see. I'm overthinking it. Well, is it the guy that I can see directly below me here? No, that's too low. this one. Yeah, there he is. I just couldn't see that for a second. It's a little bit. Arachnotron! Hooray! Is cute. Kill it with fire. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Arachnotron, now you get to kill Acme. Uh, and uh, speaking of the Cacodemon toy I have, uh, you'll find it in this level later on, too. Oh. So you'll get to see what I actually have. Oh dear. Turn it to keep breaking it for 33 unique glory kills. Ah, I need to keep breaking. <laughs> oh, my jacket demon broke again. How? Oh, it's round. It doesn't have any appendages to speak of. I pulled its eye out. And then it exploded. <laughs> it went right to my thighs and then I blew up. No worse! It'll go right to your thighs! My thighs? And then you'll blow up! Neglect your flame belch because getting back armor is very uh helpful. What I'd like to do is to set something that's staggered on fire and then glory kill it. Makes sense. Assuming the flame doesn't kill them immediately, it can't happen. Rare as it may be. Okay, that's not the point. No. Grenades. It's what? X. Yeah, like set this guy. Yeah, I do like do like. Oh, there's another chance. Not so nearly as well. Glory, kill him! I tried, and I got bounce padded that way. Good there. And then you ran past him! Yes, I know, I'm an idiot. This is a given. You're blind. Oops, I hit Y instead of X. It was on cooldown anyways. No. Okay, you can see your cooldowns on your head. And the buttons needed to activate. Blood Punch is also a nice bit of extra damage against stronger enemies. Ah. Oh. So if you have it available, go ahead and punch it. Oh, I'm trying to find out. Uh... Do. I'm 
punch. That's not punching you. Yeah, that, that's not going to you were pushing every button but the punch button. That's not the punch button. The punch button is the glory kill button. Yeah, that would have been a time to remind hey. me. I'm not used to the interface yet. That's the melee button! It's the climb button, it's the... It's the use button and it's the everything button. I got a weapon point. Yes. Well. Weapon mod upgrade. Uh, I would say hold on to them and save them for the super shotgun. Okay. Skipping. Or, well, I'm skipping. Back. Because eventually uh, you'll be able to set your meat hulk on fire so that using it will give you armor. Well, I like everything about that. Ah, I don't know. I'm out of shotgun bullets. Damn it. You'll find some. Uh, to wit? Yeah. yeah, see, you're fine. Oh. Ah. Uh, you can't go there yet. Oh, good. <laughs> you don't quite have the mobility for that. Oh, look a page. All right. So... Page master, you are not. Yes. So where am I going? This is the door that opened. Yes. Go outside. I did. Say yes. Fist. Oh, At wow. At least you don't die. Yeah, well, I'm losing my arm. Picked up. Oh, what? That, that, that fucking thing is like. You're, uh, not reacting to it. Got it. There you go. And behind you will be the page of us.
Great Battalions! For the platform! Kill them all! Race to the finish! Oh, hey! Lore! Hooray! More lore! And now we jump down, and we find this. Find your prize. Gimme. Dash. Yes. The A button is your dash. Obviously, I'm meant to use it here. Uh, yes. You can dash twice before it has to refill. Uh -huh. uh, behind you is an extra life. So it is. Yes, and when you dash toward a the wall, you will automatically grapple to it. Helpful. Yes, and you can do a double jump either before or after the dash. Ah. I suppose that's one way to do that. I mean, you know, I suppose... It was there. <laughs> <laughs> cutscene time. Yeah, cutscene. I will drink the last of them. <sighs> Good stuff. He's a ghost. Yours to take. It's just a ball, dude. I'm taking it. It's a little more complicated than that. You cannot kill the priests. But I already did. You know our laws. Despite their transgressions against the covenant, also say hello to they Lemmy from are Motorhead. still of sentinel blood. <laughs> what do you interfere with As now? As it turns out, Ed were big is fans of Motorhead. Than you can imagine. And so they modeled it this guy after written. Lemmy as tribute. It is their time to give penance. Yeah, I mean, if that you continue, it makes sense. I mean, you <laughs> will bring down the, the heavens' wrath. Right at the end of 2015. Yep. The you are one man. They are no longer the, your people your head to is on save. Fire. Yep. Yeah, he's yep. using the ember skin. Yep. Right. And if you look behind his throne, there's an extra life. Yep, Lemmy's death led off the uh, horrible amount of death that occurred in 2016. And to, I believe to the right, yeah, there it is. Because I tend to forget about this paper sometimes. <laughs> I'm like in a hurry to kill more demons. Well, I mean, well, that's fair. I'll say this while Doomslayer is finally getting my tenants on fire, everybody else who tried to follow his legacy just went. Yeah, the floor is electrified now. So it is. Oh, yes. Yes, but now you have better means to avoid his attacks. Uh, if you are standing still, you will dash uh, forward. But if you are moving, you will dash in the direction you are moving. These guys are kind of sturdy. We don't have the means to cheese them yet. Oh no. Redirects to uh, 
It's like, yeah. It's a shame he doesn't do that anymore. Well, technically he does, he just doesn't compile them anymore. No, I mean, he yells at Psycho a lot less than he used Yeah, I was not yeah, you're, you're gonna have to get used to using that dash a lot. Okay, so light! Well, it's a good thing I had. And if you want, you can go back to previous levels and grind lives. Neato. Yeah, Super Mario style. Da 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 da. Oh no, I'm a dead. Oh no, I'm a dead. I need an extra lives. Give me the mushroom. Nom 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 nom. I'm not gonna get high off this, I swear. Hello, I'm in the mushroom. Waha! Going back out this way, I'm assuming? No. Oh, good. Uh, going back out the way you were going originally. Now, you can go that way, but, uh. This central battery can be used you know to that area that you couldn't get to before? Several modules remain unused. With the monkey bars? Finding yes. more batteries will enable you, you to utilize the full functions of your command station. Hooray! Give you the mobility you need to make the jumps. Let's see what that was. Uh, back of there. You, uh. You, you're going away from it. What? I didn't even see the monkey bars. Because you didn't turn to the right. Oh, it was straight on. I could swear it was straight on. No, straight on just goes to that point. Oh. Which no. is a point of no return until you get fast travel, by the way. Ah. Well, we're definitely going this way then. Yes. Oh, come on! Uh, you will need to learn the art of turning in midair. So it would seem. Press the dash button there. That was not when I wanted to dash. Yeah, and, uh. Yeah, after your dash runs out, take your thumb off of the A button and put it on the right stick. Because <sighs> the board there is not enough. You need to actually turn to get the distance. Shit, fuck. Uh, what? I only gave you only give me one jump. You do only get one jump out, one extra jump after a monkey bar. Remember, you're airborne. Oh, oh, I missed the monkey bar entirely that time. Right. It is possible to get over there. Oh my god, that was like exactly the wrong place. And they give you a bunch of health afterwards, as if they knew this was going to happen. Made it. There you go. I don't know why you tried to use the chainsaw. I, uh, my finger slipped. Alright, this is a secret encounter. Uh-huh. Timed encounters. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Good nest. Uh, okay. Oh! Uh, 
Well, let's see. I guess we go back. Yeah, getting back is easier than actually getting back. That figures. I'm gonna say that now. And yeah, 100% right. <laughs> All right. Now go through the portal. Seriously. My phone's in the other room. I usually have it with me as you see know, my uh my way to keep an eye on chat. Instead I'm just I didn't realize it was a um, like fall down and it wasn't a really spot where I could die, but I did. And I landed on some nothing. Wow. Okay, good. Alright. Locate the betrayer. going, so we're not going to get. Oh look, a secret! But... Okay. Uh, to get that secret, there is a punchable block uh, near the yellow X. The block is not lit up, so uh, good luck finding it. Alright. Armor first. Near the yellow X. Well, that's where we're going. We're gonna go to the yellow X. Oh, that's my came from one. <laughs> mm. Can 
did we get up there? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, no problem. Forward. Not that simple, huh? I did find the purple sludge, and I saw the one up above me. Yes, uh... Yes, welcome to purple sludge. This only appears in two levels in the whole game, and it's annoying as hell. That must be <sighs> they like to hide tentacles in it. I see. Boy, I can't jump out of this to save my life. You can't even dash through it. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Right. No wonder. Okay, auto map we got. Okay. Yeah. Those. Microwave beam. I don't know. What do you think? Do we want to do a, uh... Want to do an upgrade to the plasma rifle? Alright. <clears throat> the... You have a choice between the heat blast and the microwave beam. Indeed. Now, the microwave beam sounds awesome. However, it eats up ammo like crazy. And it, uh. Uh, well, it is used in advanced tactics. Ah. But, uh. That's probably not something you're very privy to. So, Heat Blast, then. Because the microwave beam can be used for a quick stun to uh, stop enemies in their tracks, or to open them up for further attacks with different weapons. Mm-hmm. But for now, uh, uh, E blast will work out. Okay. I went back, got the extra life. Cause what the hell? One more traipsing around this particular pleasant area. Fuck. Oops. You know, helps me. What Don't help fuck up the jump. What help if you use your double jump? Now, the heat blast works a bit different than it did in the first one, but I don't think you really used it in the first one. There much. is a central power core nearby. I used it a little in the uh, You can use stages, it to activate the mech and clear the path. Of course, as we know, I became reliant on the shotgun. Yeah. 
Uh, well, there's three meters on your on the uh, crosshair now. You can only use the heat blast when uh, one of at least one is full. Ah. The more you the more that are full, the more powerful the blast will be. And I take it you got the vinyl record, right? Of course. Okay, good. All right, you can move on now. Yep, once I found the... <coughs> once I realized that I had the block there, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's how you get through anything with, like, a yellow X on it. You need to use something in the environment to break it. Oh, goody. One of these. Oh, it's fine. See? This is... Far from the worst that this level has to offer as far as far as parkour goes. Page. Also, in case you didn't notice that portal said you straight to hell. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. If the meat didn't give it away. It may have. Boom. Oh, no, that did not take itself out. That just blew his body in half. Alright. It's a touch by a puzzle. Just step on the green ones and it works. And it's barely even a puzzle. Yeah. It's really just a cheap way to force the fight around here. And uh, you might have noticed snacks down there. Uh, actually, I didn't look. It's on a ledge. Oh, yep, I see it. Yes. Inside is a supercharge. Superchargers fill you up to full health and armor. They do not overcharge like they did in the previous game. Well, fuck. And yes, Bats McGee is definitely right. This is definitely the part they don't show you on the screen. <laughs> well, now you gotta figure out your way up. Well. Me, I do a crazy thing to get back up really quick, but that's because I'm me and I'm insane. Well, I did that. Yeah, that's the intended way. Okay. Kind of. Kind of. Almost screwed it up, but... <laughs> you did it. That's what matters. Yes! I did one of those without, you know, falling over dead. Up next is probably one of the harder arenas in this. Oh, All right, joy. boys have fun. I'm gonna go places now. Goodbye. Later. I say later. Pat. And so if there's a couple cack demons in this place. You know, some revenants and ratatrons. Oh, okay. And hell knights. And of course. Uh, huh. This is very interesting. Well, I don't need any of that armor. Oh dear. In case you didn't find the supercharge. That. Uh, good choice, because revenants are almost hilariously ineffective. Yes, much less revenants. Yeah, they don't do a lot of damage, they have bad aim, they are more aggressive, they are more dangerous than the previous game because they're more aggressive. And they actually have homing missiles this time, but the homing missiles, the lock on can be broken just by double jumping or damage. Uh, I gotta start working out. And, and of course, they have the shoulder cannon to be going to do this shoot right. Yes. What I like to do is blood hunting because it usually destroys both at once. 
Yes. Not too nearly as much good as I thought. So what we do. Hey, damage is damage. And you're pretty much doing glory kills all the time, so. Oh fuck. I slipped. Oh god, more of them. Oh god, dead. Yep. No, you're not. You have extra lives. Yes. <laughs> Don't be on us if you showed up right now. <laughs> Probably. Saw that there. So I'm looking at Psych like this for a heckle you. For the most part, I'm just <laughs> giving you advice. <laughs> well, in the case of my book. When I earned it. It is all the time. I'm like yelling at you a bunch of people and you should give me what a button that is. Yep. <laughs> that would be one of those times. I mean, you're doing okay for a first time, right? I think being relatively fresh with regard to... Uh, with regard to, like, actually playing a first person shooter on the Switch. Yeah. That, that is not bad. You would probably be able to use yourself in other classic games pretty well. Probably. Especially considering vertical aim is done for you in this. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, you couldn't walk up and down in this game, so they had auto aim. You also couldn't jump. Yeah, that's cool. So, that form is a lot simpler. Which is just run across gaps or fall on two legs below you. <laughs> Okay, we're through. We're through, but we only have a little bit of ammo. Six more. Nothing the chainsaw can't handle. Or picking up whatever stragglers are left here. Well, there's some shotgun ammo, so that helps. Yes. Alright. Well, you're definitely right about that being one of the harder ones. songs with his nose. <laughs> I hope we're telling him to play Mario 3 with his nose. Yeah, that was me. Oh. <laughs> How did that even work? I don't Do you know. breathe in to jump and breathe out to move forward? I mean, sure, why not? I would sooner kill you. Oh, if you think you can... Oh, wait. Yeah, if you think you can make that jump, you can't. Also, dash refills for when they want you to make those extra long jumps. Lime! Hmm. Yes, this new MIDI keyboard is pretty nice. It does look good, yes. Also, incoming Kagademon. 
Two. Speaking of, it's related to sight. <laughs> speaking of uh, bizarre eyeballs. <laughs> Differences. <laughs> oh, oh. Differences. We like psych. We don't like caco demons. Caco demons. Well, I mean, we don't like them when they're trying to kill us. But they're so cute when they're ineffectual. <laughs> I'm so glad you were in for the um, Mario stream yesterday. It's like, oh, good. That means we won't catch any quotes. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason I have permission to add quotes. Yes, I have teased Psych on a couple of occasions that he's lucky that I don't. <laughs> Stop where you are! You need to back up some, sir. Because uh, those cliffs that you're looking at below, uh, one of them hides a secret encounter. I, I think you can see it. it. Yes. Nest. Yep, and it is the return of Lost Souls, and one of the few times you will see them on their own. Oh boy, let's see. There are no more objectives here than there were in the previous And you are given barrels to help blow them up. <laughs> and a mere 10 seconds to work with. That's the last one. There we go. There we go. There you go. Secret encounter completed. You got a weapon point. Hooray. Now you may continue onwards. Climb back up to that pole. Er, on the pole. Pole arm. You're gonna have to activate it. Indeed. Let's do it. Hope you like huge guts. Follow me, guys, everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, because that just happened. Indeed. Now you must enter the huge guts. It looks tasty. Anybody else feel hungry all of a sudden? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> just not for this. No, definitely not for this. That's right, the tentacles are now Killer MC. Booga booga. Oh no, my dad. I cry. I cry. You know, that was the thing. Uh, <laughs> I am at least temporarily not poor. Oh, by the way, I was the one who donated us French to war. <laughs> and I used Google Translate to make him say, I drew a gun. Gifted Ooze a sub. It's like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the first gift sub I have ever gifted anywhere. Because I have never been able to. You pass on! Or not. Alright. Alright. What I wanted to point out is with the precision bolt uh, on fodder enemies, the headshot is a one hit kill. No. Oh. And when it's fully upgraded, uh, it will cause an explosion. That sounds fun. Yes. 
It's uh, pretty nice. Yeah. Although I use it for sniping weak points so much that I don't oh, really here. use it to explode that way. Oh, by the way, have fun finding this in sludge. Okay. Ah. Well then. Oh, that's a spicy meat to ball. Yeah, right. You also aren't using your flame belt, you know? Right. I will point out whenever you are neglecting your weaponry. That's a good idea, it, especially the flame belt, because I'm not used to having that there. I, I started remembering to use it previously, but it's okay. Uh, it, it's, it's essentially your equivalent to the siphon grenades. Ah, this timer is not tied to the other grenades this time. In fact, uh, with upgrades, it recharges very quickly. Good. Okay, so let's see. Punch that thing. Uh, visual glitch, because this game is a little much for the Switch to handle. <laughs> that it works at all is a miracle. <laughs> ah, let me see what I need to do here. Button our technical wizards. Mm-hmm. Huh. Ah, well that's where we're going, huh? Well, let's do. Ah yes, the push a button puzzle. <laughs> Now it's time for a jumping puzzle. Hooray! I don't think that they intended to do it. <laughs> but you'll have to climb your way back up there again. Yeah. Oh? Pay attention! I am paying attention. You can't prove that I'm not. It's me. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Oh, let me guess. Double jump, dash to the to the parkour. Yeah, that is why there's a dash repo there. Made it. And there's a sentinel crystal in the sludge. Naturally. Surprise, motherfucker! Get that loot magnet. Loot magnets acquired for armor. Gimme! Now you will absorb loot from further away. Gray. Nothing bad about that, that is for damn sure. You don't have to be within the horrible death distance. <laughs> By the way, preview of what you're gonna have to traverse. Uh, also, there's a buddy. Oh As if I don't have enough problems. Snipe off his turret. Now he can't shoot you. Okay. Unless you're coming up to get close to him. 
I am not. Well, actually, I probably am. Uh, he's going to jump down and chase you. There he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he doesn't have the best aim of those grenades. Indeed. My eye! What about it, motherfucker? I see what you did there. Yeah. The eyes have it. Ah. Mystery of Sentinel Part 3. Huzzah. Time for traversal. to the blue. That did not help. Oh dear. Okay. That? that armor summons two cacodemons if you collect it. Oh. Great. Worst part of that is, I could actually use it. Up to you if you think it's worth the risk. Uh, I am probably dead. Should I just drop down onto the platform? No. Nope. Oh. No. This is where you had to go in the first place. Oh. So we're in the right place. Oh, I see it. Uh, I, I picked it up. Despite not trying to. Well, now you're being attacked by a Great. And now there's gargoyles. Too bad Keith David isn't there. Did I mention gargoyles are fucking vicious? <laughs> yes, uh, getting close to one is a big no-no because they will chew you the fuck up. Okay, there's a dash refill there because we have to make that jump. Uh, yes. That is to get the Slayer Key. Oh. Fuck. Missed. Uh, that's not where you're supposed to start from. Oh. You, you gotta go higher. Can you take me higher and higher? Yeah, that's the better one. There is a lower ledge you can jump from. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Never okay. cut the knot if the knot is too tough. There we go. Aha. Yes, slayer keys are very purple. Gimme. We'll unlock a slayer gate. All six slayer gates unlock sun maker in the fortress of doom. Slayer keys are hidden. Well, when playing with cheat codes. Thank okay. you for spoiling the big prize you get. Yeah. There's six Slayer Gates in the game. Oh, hey, armor shards. Yep. Yeah, there's six... There's you, there's no penalty for getting those. The gate is also down there. Oh, okay. That also, you get, get a little uh, achievement for punching a Slayer Gate. Nice. Oh, hey, there it is. Punch it, huh? Since you have you can't punch it. Aw. Yes, there are six Slayer Gates in the whole game. Getting all six will earn you a new weapon. I imagine it is a weapon as a badass. Yes, uh, it is. However, it shares ammo with the BFG. Well. So select it and to introduce you to enemies that appear in the game. They are very tough endurance encounters. Let's just pick it up on that. I just strike a bad man and try to find it. Good. 
melee kills. Blood Punch is also hard for groups and bigger enemies. Now you're out of ammo, but the reason it didn't switch was because you could still use it in class. Gotcha. Yeah, the, uh, the plasma gun is also color-coded for what level of blast you're at. I believe purple is level 2, and blue, I think, is uh, level 1, as well as when it's empty. Oh, uh, shit. Red is level 2. Sticky bones, man! I'm so reliant on sticky bombs, I almost never use the primary fire. <laughs> oh, what is that? That is a dread knight. That is a hell knight on steroids. They can create uh, puddles of hurt, and it has projectile effect. More help. Fuck it. You need something smaller. Gargoyles can be turned off. Seen that? Maybe. Oh, the flight might be spoony before.
Come for it. Bonus stage. We just slay your gate. Empyrean key. Yep. Okay. What's the uh what's that nine out of ten? Is that weapon points available in the level? Yes. So all that's left is the final arena during the last one. Okay. Which way? Probably back this way where the green is. And the lightning. Oh. And the compass. Um. There's an extra life uh, off the side of this. Oh fuck me sideways. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard to get, honestly. Uh, uh you're right. Alright, now just come off the ledge. Is nearby. Now, at the top of that lava fall nearby... Mm -hmm. Yes, you want to get over there. What can I do? Because there's uh, something hidden there. Got it. Hey! Cacodemon. That is the exact toy I have. <laughs> Those are sort of like this one said, Psych, what are you doing in my mail? <laughs> Alright, so obviously that's not where we are actually going. Uh... Yeah, you want to go across those platforms that go down. Uh, or, or not if you're feeling brave. I'm feeling lucky. Luck prevailed. There are motion oh, sensors man. and artillery everywhere. I told you all to leave me here. I am where I belong. Wait a fuck it. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse. You say that now, and yet. And now you seek to defy the con maker herself. It is your people's time now to give penance, just as it was mine. I got your penance right here. Hear me, Slayer. When his heart is laid to rest, then his soul will be at peace. And yeah, so how do I kill will you? mine. Hmm. Oh, shoot till they die? He gave you a pocket knife. Well, whoop de shit. No secrets here, just continue on. Kideke? Moving forward. I don't think there are any secrets left in the level. Well, I found a page. I wouldn't count that as a secret when it's in plain sight. Oh. There is one more extra life, and, you know, you'll be able to see it. Will I? I think you overestimate my blindness. <laughs> parkour, parkour. I hate this already. Oh, dear. I'm dead. Okay. He's still dead. Okay, what am I not doing here? Bashing. Let's see that. Dashing through the snow. Hey, oh. Open coffin! Fuck. 
be mindful of the cheese. <laughs> yeah. Th they're kind of on fire. Oh, the structure point has been identified. I will mark its location on your HUD. What? Oh, okay. The extra life is actually underneath one of these platforms. Oh, I see it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Fuck that. Hello, uh, hello, Super Mario Brothers. That's immediately what I thought of. This part is uh, a little tough. Fuck. Looks like I'm gonna die. Damn. How many lives do you have left? Yeah, you'll be fine. Eventually. <laughs> it's not like you're gonna lose the last two in the last battle. That was really strange. It was also uh, probably not the intended way to get back. Yeah, I didn't get it anyway. Oh. Fuck. Me. Turn more. Oh. Bastard. Congratulations, you're the first person I've ever seen lose a life on the platform. You mean in this game, because yes. I quite lose lives at platforming very often when we play Mario. Extra life, you will have to stand on that platform until it falls. Which unfortunately means another uh, roundabout to go back up. Fuck that. <coughs> um, yes. You could have gotten that extra life earlier if you actually reach it. Fuck. Nope, what the fuck? There were monkey bars. Ah, uh, yeah, I see them now. Okay, uh... Yeah, look to the left. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, there's a ledge there where you can just jump to that one-up. If you fail again, you can, uh, go get it. Gotcha. <sighs> Okay. We shall see. Oh, what? You aren't you aren't turning enough. Mm. Alright, now there's a ledge to your left. Yeah, jump there. Not that far left. Yeah, there. And now you can just jump to that life and dash back. Yeah, or not. Whatever, you still got it. Yeah. Oops! Grab onto the bomb, you ass. This section sucks. I just want to go on record on that. It good. Oh, fuck hell.
quad damage power up here. So you can use it to give you a The resounding no to the exit. Away! That's not the exit. That's not the exit. No, your compass points to it. Oh, there, there is, there's my reticule, jeez. Woo! You did the thing. Yes, we successfully did the thing. of an exhausting game. I see, yeah. <sighs> you can now find the remaining hell priests by activating your celestial locator. The 
second Hell Priest is located in the northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. The hub has several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, okay. you will be able to access the entire so, ship. We can do a little bit here, huh? Sentinel batteries. Okay. Sounds like fun. Yeah, the Joy had one. Yeah, as well use it. Sentinel energy levels rising. Re-establishing power to the core ice and supplementary system. systems. Yes, but now you can explore the entire ship. Oh. Is there anything worth? Uh, you can't get anything yet, but there is a lot to this. Yeah, see. You know, like that right there is the classic green costume. Lots of locations in here. Holy shit. It's a little big. Oh yeah, no shortage. Ah, it's a swap with the fire grenade. Ice bomb! The ice bomb modification to your equipment launcher has Ooh. been completed. Once fired, I like that. Douse nearby enemies and it is on a gases. separate cooldown from your frag grenades. Oh, uh, so I can use both. Fire either ice bombs or frag grenades. Yes. Oh, that's the cheat, right? No, it's music. Oh, it's music. Good. That's nice. Cheat codes are activated from the mission select menu. Gotcha. Alright, let's check it out. And if you back away without uh, stopping the music, it will continue to play throughout the whole place. Huh. Hmm. There it goes. Classic. Let's see, so is there anything else to see in here at the moment? Uh, there's plenty, actually. Ooh. That there is a weapon you'll have eventually. <laughs> it's not finished being made. Not yet. And here's where you use your keys to... Unlock the Unmaker. One down. Now, let me guess, the Unmaker is like some sort of optional super boss or something, or it is the end boss? Uh, no, the Unmaker is a weapon. Oh, it's a weapon. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. And... And a nod to Doom 64. Ah. That was the only game that had an Unmaker. That and the Doom Bible. <laughs> which is the original design document uh, made for developing the game. Most of it went unused. Oh boy. I guess progression locks all over the place. Yeah. You need batteries for those. Indeed. More to come. Oh, wait. There's more to this place. Okay. Let's see. Where have we been? Down below. Whoops. 
<laughs> I found a way to fall off my own ship. Thankfully, it uh, doesn't hurt you. Yeah, that's good. Oh, there's lots. Let's see now. Yes, and those are doors, by the way. Uh, don't go in there yet. There's still more to explore. That's not the next level. No. But oh, there's a place I can go, anything I can do. I mean, it's required, but there's no reason to go there yet. Or rather... You know what I mean. There's more to explore before you do it. Ah. I'll be in better shape for whatever it is later. No, there's just a lot of neatness to this. Ah. I kind of like those extended platforms. I was wondering if I was going to find that again, honestly. <laughs> I mean, it's on the way. Yeah. Well, what else? Yes, uh, those are doors. Hey, a page. Yes. And welcome to your personal man cave. Haha. <laughs> nice. And there's the toy shelf. Use? There are a ton of Easter eggs in here. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. And your, right, own, and your own personal computer. And an IBM computer. <laughs> Let me guess, we get to play some sort of form of classic Doom of so or something like that. Uh, you can't activate the first one because it requires obtaining all the cheat codes in the game, but the second one is password protected. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm guessing it's a target? Tagger. But yes. F L Y N N. Hang on. Oh, of course I got it. Yeah. Oh, wait, I should go backwards. So L Y. Uh, it's like actually using an old IBM. Okay, Flynn. Yes. T A G. T A G. G A R T. A. Ah. Doom 2. Yes. And uh, also, should I should I tell him of what uh, that name means? It is the name of the protagonist from the Doom novels. Ah. Dang it. Okay. Yeah. But yes, it is a fully playable edition of classic Doom. Nice. Great ports. If you want a better classic Doom experience on the Switch, you would be better off just buying the one on the eShop. Yeah. But it's there nonetheless. <laughs> Caco cakes. <laughs> Pinky pies. That reminds me of the um, 
Deadpool Good Housekeeping Edition. Winner, winner, Argent dinner. The gauntlet. Perfect hatred. Interesting. Next. And if you look behind you, there are pieces of the original Praetor suit there. Weird. Including the helmet. And Argent cells. Yep. Argent cells are not a thing in this game. Yeah, I figured that. I had Sentinel crystals. Now there's a uh, munitions crate from the last game. And uh, weaponry, in case you want to look at their models. Cool. I like it. Yeah. Right. Now there's two more things to look at. Okay, which way? Uh, head up the stairs, and then take a right. Hmm. Out here is, uh, <clears throat> if you can make it across, an unlockable costume. That you need batteries to access. Naturally. You can you can zoom in with your uh, with your sniper if you want to take a closer look. Looks pretty slick. Doesn't leave much to the imagination. No. Oh, I'm falling to the atmosphere. Yeah, we have players like you wear that. And go, You'll get my mosses. Now you want to do the same thing, but for the other side. Uh, huh. Okay. A lot easier to go across this side. Yep. And there is the Praetor suit from the previous game. Aha! Uh -huh. And that's all there is to see here. You may move on. Well, actually looking at the time, I think it's probably time about to go off. Probably should be this up. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna call this a night. Let's see if I can find somebody to raid. Let's see who is streaming today. Uh, yeah, Juker will do just nicely. Um, let's see. Our raid message will be, I fell into space since I did that. Uh, thank, uh, thank you everybody for stopping by. Thank you, Steel, for the guidance and COCOM, of course. Yep. And I hope anybody who's poking around hasn't hit the follow button, please do. I'd like to always like to have some more followers. And um, we'll be back on Thursday, probably Among Us. And Friday for more four-player shenanigans with Super Mario 3D World. Oh god. Yes. Mushroom and flower world more than likely. Uh, uh, <laughs> Alright, have, All right. have a good night everybody. Later. Oh incidentally.